Nobody knows why firemen are firemen. Not even they can tell you why. But it is time somebody try. It's hard enough to believe that. It's impossible to explain it. Minutes later, you're on site. As others run out, you go in. Is it worth it? On the bouncing rear mount of a screening 100-foot sea grave? Is it really worth it? They've budgeted, cut your ladder company from six men to five, so now everything you do is 16.67% more difficult and more dangerous. There's a searing ember down your neck. You can almost breathe again. Your B crew pumper swapped his day shift so some family guy could be home for his kid's birthday. But the raging blaze that wanted to consume adjacent buildings did not. And it did not because you were there. Nobody outside your world can ever know this feeling. His academy boots are still shining. You lose him inside the crackling dark. You forget about him until your helmet warning bell says get out. The battalion chief is calling you off. You get out. The other guy didn't. He'd heard a scream from the bottom of burning basement stairs and he'd headed down there. That day, we lost two. Oh yes, firemen cry. It is worth it. It is worth it. And you're hearing this voice, and there's nobody there but you. I have to rely on your hands. You look around, still nobody. In any other uniform, you get streets named after you for killing people. In this one, you risk your life to save people until one day you run out of chances. And at one final fire, either you buy it or you don't. And yet there is no third way that you'd ever leave this job. And you're jogging even God knows why. <laughs>